Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of November 27, 2017. Also check out your December videos are up as well and don't forget your dailies. Um, if you guys are seeking a psychic reading, please contact me at JackieTomlin.com or you'll find a link to those readings located below this uh, video. You guys have some scattered energy going on around you this week and what I see at play, you're ending an emotional cycle. And when you end an emotional cycle and come into a new cycle, it's just that, it's emotional. Uh, a lot of good luck and abundance with you guys, uh, but you're leaving something. You've got strength on your side. You're shutting down something. You're redirecting your energy towards you, and you may have to separate from someone or something in order to do so. So let's take a look. This is going to be for Taurus for the week of November 27, 2017. Taurus, we start with the Eight of Wands, followed by the Nine of Cups, Major Arcana of the Lovers, Major Arcana of the Emperor, Major Arcana of the Devil, and the Two of Pentacles. So let me break this down for you guys, and I'll pull you three more. Starting with the Eight of Wands, scattered energy or not, there is an abundance of happiness around you. There is more than one small wish being granted, but to me, it doesn't come in the form that you think it's going to come in. Beside that, we have the Nine of Cups, and you know, I refer to that as the fat, happy cat. You're in a good spot. Things are going along well. Then we come into the lovers. Now, if you're in a couple situation, this is going to be the strengthening of the bond for my single Taurus out there. This is something new coming into play. Now, moving forward, we have the Emperor, we have the Devil, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, first of all, with the Emperor, with this being a general reading, this could represent a male or a female for you. This is someone dominant, prominent in your thoughts, someone almost controlling type. The good news is the Emperor is showing here as unexpected offer of assistance or someone that you haven't heard from in a very long time. Beside that, going back to what I said, that there's somebody that you need to separate from. This is cutting the bond, cutting the chains, moving forward, moving away from that negativity. If it no longer serves a purpose to you, move away from it. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. And Two of Pentacles just shows right now you may be juggling a little bit financially. And of course, we're under the holiday season. And I think that's perfectly normal. Moving forward, we have the Seven of Swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Three of Swords. Warnings in the love life, guys, is what we're looking at here. Three of Swords, matters of the heart, third person's unwanted advice, opinion, input. But the Seven of Swords combined with that, no way to sugarcoat this. It's not just deception. It's someone directly lying to you at this point in time. Queen of Pentacles shows stability. You're stabilizing your finances and you're stabilizing moving forward. Like I said, there is a separation at hand for a lot of you this current week. So what we're looking at, we're looking at that unexpected offer of assistance. We're looking at the lover's card. There are some problems with the love life there. We are looking at you cutting the bonds with someone. But overall, you're not looking at a bad week. It is a week about getting what you want. Uh, it just may come into play in a different matter than what you have envisioned. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.